guys i'm back today with another video this one is going to be brought to you by the company rpg hair and today's unit that i will be showcasing is their kinky straight 13 by 6 lace frontal wig and this unit does have the kinky curly edges i'm going to show you guys what that looks like straight out of the box it's looking good so far but i can't wait to put it on my head and it does come with your two combs on the side a comb in the middle a comb in the back your adjustable straps and this is a medium cap size So now that I have the unit on, I want to show you guys what the front of this hairline looks like and also what those kinky curly edges look like. I love that they did not put too much hair in the front to where it's going to come off looking unrealistic. And I don't feel like I'm going to have to go in and do too much when it comes to this hairline. Like it looks so good straight out of the box. I do also want to show you guys what this parting space area looks like. You get a very good amount of parting, but of course, the further over you go to the side, you will end up running into tracks. So about three months ago, I did another natural edge wig from the company. And with that one, I ended up hot combing the edges just to kind of press them out a little bit more, but I'm not going to do that this time around. So I'm gonna move those edges out of the way. I'm gonna add some wax and I'm gonna hot comb behind the edges just to kind of press everything out. And then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of wax to the edges and I'm going to use my blow dryer to blow everything out so it can still have like a blowout look in the front. I seen this method a while ago on Beige Oja. I hope I'm saying her name right. I'm going to make sure to leave a link down below to that video. But I absolutely love the way that she did that because it still made the hairline look super, super natural without having to hot comb and press it out because of course you want the focus to be on those natural edges definitely wanted to try out her method i made sure not to go too heavy on the wax because i didn't want the front of the hairline to be oily Oh, look how good and natural that looks without taking away from the realness of it. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. So now I'm just going to work on cutting off of my lace. And for today, I will be installing this unit using my Boho Liquid Gold. You know, your girl said I'm going to keep trying it until, you know, I get my feel of it because I do not want to waste product. But if you wanted to apply this unit glueless, you absolutely can because it's going to blend into your skin. I just recommend making sure that you have on an elastic band for a really fitted look because I do have a small head. This is a medium cap size. So of course I would need some extra reinforcements. I'm going to place my elastic band around the front of my hairline so everything can marinate in while I work on styling the rest of this unit. Now this is 18 inches in length and this is 180% in density. I'm going to be rocking a middle part for today, but I will be showing you guys a couple different styles, but for right now, I'm rocking the middle part. Now that I have this unit laying down nice and flat at the top, I'm going to take my flat iron and just run through the hair really quickly. I don't have to section off pieces because this hair was really, really soft straight out of the package. I already knew that I wasn't going to have to add too much heat to it. And with me straightening this unit, you can clearly still see the texture. You can see most of it in the nape area, but I like that because of course I don't want it to come off too straight. I 
to see what this hairline is looking like and it is looking good so far i'm going to comb a little bit of those hairs back and then i'm going to place some powder into the parting space area my knots were a little bit dark in this parting space area now the front of the hairline is pre-bleached so i'm just going over a little bit just to kind of knock some of that shine out from the product and then I'm going to add some of my Sleek and Shine Serum throughout this hair. And this is going to help control frizziness and flyaways. But with this unit, I will say I was not getting a lot of frizziness at all. A little bit of flyaways at the top, but not throughout the hair. is what the unit is looking like now that everything is done one thing that i did have to go in and do was kind of curl the ends a little bit because i felt like the ends could have been a little bit thicker but y'all mm, mm, mm. get into that hairline that is looking really good nice and natural and i'm happy that i did not end up hot combing those edges it does start at 12 inches it goes up to 24 and if you feel like 180 percent is too much you can opt for 150 but i feel like the density on this is given more 150 more natural you know everyday type of wear so i'm not too mad at that but for this style i did just kind of want to show you guys that you can kind of flip it over you don't want to worry about a part and you just want to focus on the natural hairline you can do just that and it's still going to look good a quick half up half down style it's not perfect at all i just wanted to give you guys options i'm here to give you guys options okay and just to show you how good it's still going to look this last little style is going to be easy and simple i'm just placing it back in the middle part and then i am just going to use my brush and just brush everything back and use a handy dandy little claw clip you want that hair up out your face you don't want to worry about it clip it back it's still gonna look good let me know if you are feeling this one i like this one a lot i like that i didn't have to go in and do too much tweezing and plucking they had this hairline on point if you are feeling this i'm gonna make sure to leave a link down below do not forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share and like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys